Welcome back! So for recording videos and also monitoring the prints, I have been using a GoPro. I only have one, which was fine when all I was really recording was the Prusa XL, but now that I have the Mark IV as well, I feel like I need another camera. Also, I do have to leave it plugged in, even though it is battery powered, and it takes a SD card on the side. I do like that there's a lot of changes that I can make. I can switch between video and time lapse. There's a lot of settings I can adjust within those options as well. But part of the reason that we purchased this was that I wanted to be able to remotely monitor as well as be able to upload all of my videos so that I could edit them quickly. But even though my GoPro is connected to the internet, the only way that I can view what the camera sees is through the app and it has to be through Bluetooth, which doesn't sound bad, but that actually means because my print room is about 50 feet away from my house, I cannot view anything on the camera from my house. I have to actually be within the print room itself, which basically if I'm in the print room, I can just look at it already. I don't need to be looking at an app to see it. That also means that there's no way for me to view it if I'm away from home. So if I'm at work or if I'm just anywhere, I can't quickly see what's going on in my print room. When I am within Bluetooth, this is the view that I see. But this is when the GoPro is powered on and not recording. As soon as I click record, this is the view that I see. I'm not able to view while it's recording at the same time. So this makes it pretty much impossible to be able to monitor anything. There is a cloud option, so I was hoping that once I finished recording, I would be able to upload to the cloud, then I can download it possibly on my phone or on something else so that I can edit videos. The cloud is an option, but if you are recording, you cannot upload at the same time. You cannot manage anything at the same time. So basically you can be recording or you can be uploading, which is not convenient when you have these very long prints and then of course you wanna just jump to the next print. You have to wait until you've uploaded it and it takes quite a while on these longer recordings. So I just got to where I would unplug the SD card and plug it into my phone, move the uh, recording over, and then put it back in the GoPro and start a new print. None of these things are convenient, and I also wanted to have a second camera going so I can record on both the Mark IV and the XL at the same time. So I saw a video by Uncle Jesse about how to remotely monitor and also be able to turn off your printers if there is an issue. I'll link his video in the description below, but basically he used these WISE cameras to be able to monitor and then also used wireless plugs to be able to turn off your printer if there is an issue. But he also talked about being able to record in time lapse and so I really wanted to try these cameras out and see what the quality is, see if they would work easier for me and be able to record and monitor at the same time. So I purchased a two pack of the WISE version 3 indoor outdoor cameras. I want to say that it was in the range of about $60 for the two of them. They were surprisingly easy to set up. I was happy that they didn't have a base station that I had to plug in as well. I didn't realize that these were corded, so I do have to have them plugged in, but that's not a big deal. They do have a little small stand that they come with, but they're really not tall enough for anything. They're not going to work. So my husband had some of these little um, handle ones, so it's the perfect size for the MK4. And then for the XL, I just swapped out the stand that I already had, and that pretty much works about the same as it did before. So as soon as I get it set up, I wanted to try a test print and see what the quality was for the time lapse. I had printed the Robo Alpaca on the Mark IV, but I hadn't printed it on the XL, so I thought maybe that would be a good test print, and I could compare the quality a little bit of the actual print as well. At 0.2 layer height, this will take a little over nine hours. I like that on the time lapse that I can set a start time and end time and then an interval so I can kind of modify that a little bit. I just go ahead and get this going and I notice pretty quickly that it has these little green squares as it's printing. I was hoping that that was just my view, that that's not what was recording, but I guess I had the motion setting on and so it's kind of trying to pick out exactly where any motion is detected, which it's going to have 
constant motion. So I need to mess around with that a little bit. Also, I noticed on this video that I've got kind of a lot of banding. The lighting is real flickery and it's not the worst that it's ever been, but it's not very great either. And I know that as I speed this up, it's just going to make it worse. Also, this version of the Wise Camera, the third, the B3, has a really wide fisheye. So I'm seeing wider than I normally do. You can see even more of my Mark IV to the left. You can see even more to the right. You can see the outlets. So I don't really like that. I wish that it was just a little more squared like my GoPro was. It's a little easier to kind of block out some of those things on the side. But if you're wanting to see more than one printer, I think that that would be great for this. I switched over to just recording when the um, alpaca finished and I think it does a pretty decent job of the quality. Of course, we're still seeing those green squares and I wish that it could, I could focus a little easier. Because of the way this camera is, there's no screen on it. There's no way to adjust it at all from the actual camera. Everything is just through the app, so it's a little bit difficult to see what I'm even recording when you're just standing in front of the camera. You can't, you, there's no screen to see it. Once the videos have finished recording, you do have to go into the app and download them before you can even view them. There is no preview option. The ones at the bottom are the ones that I've already downloaded and the ones at the top I still need to download. My main complaint about that is that downloading takes forever and if you're interrupted for any reason, it'll stop the download and you have to start all the way at the beginning. So it's an app on your phone. If you get a phone call, if you even just look at another app or do anything else on your phone, it will just completely void it and you have to start over again. But you can download it while you're already recording the next video. So that is convenient. Here is another run at trying to get video and I was able to get the motion off so the little green square disappeared but the lighting is still not working. It's very bandy and I've tried a lot of different durations or tried you know different things so that maybe it would be a better quality or even faster and it doesn't seem like anything's working with that so I'm going to keep working on the light banding and see if I can figure out a way to get around that. I've already uh, emailed WISE to see if they have any suggestions. So overall I would say that the WISE cameras are great for remotely monitoring your prints and right now for recording they're not working well for me. I still feel like the GoPro Hero is a lot better on recording and getting not having the lighting issue if I'm trying to record my prints. So I'm going to keep messing around with the different settings and see if I can improve the quality on the Wise, and I will let you guys know how that works out. Let me know if you use the Wise cameras and if you've experienced the same thing or if it's just me or if you use something completely different. Thanks for watching.